Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves and Attorney General Jim Hood squared off this week in what was supposed to be the second debate in the race for governor. During the hour-long debate, a clear difference between the two candidates began to emerge. On stage, there was a man with a plan, the other, nothing but a punter. In the debate hosted by WJTV, WHLT, and Channel 22, there were fireworks right out of the gate as Jim Hood tried to explain his personal involvement in rewriting of the investigation into his political opponent. Yet now we are seeing political ads about this very issue. Are you contradicting yourself? Quite frankly, his actions would probably make Hillary Clinton and James Comey blush. So, Mr. Hood, why not push for charges? I'm sorry, what was Why your not push for charges? Well, I've left that seconds. for the next attorney general. But some of the best moments came later as the two candidates debated the issues, and it became apparent that only one knew the facts. I'm opposed to Obamacare expansion in Mississippi because while the attorney general talks about various things, what he doesn't tell you is it's going to cost $220 million per year to expand Obamacare in our state. He just said he was going to do a road bill, which means he's going to raise the gas tax to pay for it. When asked about how he would pay for his plans, totaling over $941 million according to a study done by BIPEC, Hood only had this response. The fact is I'm going to drain the swamp that he created. That's where we're going to start, to find the money. While it appeared difficult for Hood to explain where the money would come from, Tate Reeves made it clear exactly how he will pay for his plans, and it's not the people. I'm not going to make promises that I can't keep, and I'm not going to promise spending money that we don't have. Infrastructure is a core function of government. But if I'm elected governor, we're going to do it without raising anybody's taxes. The candidates did make sure to get in a few jabs throughout the debate, with some landing better than others. There's probably no liberals that came out of my hometown. Well, i got to ask, how many people came out of Hulkle that endorsed Hillary Clinton for president? In the final question of the debate, Hood and Reeves were asked what was one thing they liked about their opponent, but only one candidate showed humility when answering. And I respect the fact that he's chosen to serve in public office, uh, for a number of years. It's hard to do when you have small children. It's hard to do when you have children that are growing up when you're in the public eye. What I respect most about him, he, he sure knows how to raise a lot of campaign money. In other major campaign news, a day before the debate, Tate Reeves held a press conference on the Gulf Coast with about a dozen teachers as he released his plan to address teacher pay. And this isn't some vague promise like the other side may be offering. I've got a plan. I've got a timetable. We've crunched the numbers and determined exactly how we can ensure that our teachers make much more in the coming years. Joining local education leaders at the Lynn Meadows Discovery Center in Gulfport, Reeves outlined his plan to raise teacher pay over four years, increase teacher supply funding, and more. We do know that there's not a teacher in this state that makes what he or she is worth. Now that our fiscal house is in order, it's time to get this done. The plan features an old strategy to support our hardworking teachers as they prepare Mississippi kids to lead successful lives. You can read more about Reeves' plan on his website under the Issues tab. Tate Reeves and Jim Hood will go head-to-head -head again on Monday, October 14th during the third debate hosted by WCBI in Columbus. Having ducked the first debate, we will keep you posted on whether Hood shows and whether he has a plan to pay for his promises. Until next time, live from the campaign trail, I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.